guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so last episode we repaired our ship we were able to get to this place and now we need to basically build a base computer so let's just make sure that we have everything that we need on us uh, we need some chromatic metal i already refined that up so we can easily place down the base and claim it i'm at this station because there's a lot of flat area down here that we can basically go ahead and get a base started. Looks like I raided all that stuff. Actually, I'm just gonna jump down. And I figure what we'll do is we'll build right here, close to the ladder, and we're gonna need probably this. Uh, we'll put that over. that out of the way here I guess and we'll claim this up claim base so that will claim all this area that we get free parking and stuff too because it's right over here all right so we're going to need to Talk to the computer. Uh, let's see here. Yes, extract plans. So we get some of the um, base materials for building a base. Now we need to actually build it. So place one timber floor. Uh, we can. Can we actually fit that right on there? That would be awesome if we could. Then we wouldn't have to put it in the corner, I guess. Like right in here. Just make sure that. Yeah, that will actually work out really good, I think. All right, and then we need a wall. So we're gonna need to place three walls. I'm gonna just decorate this a little bit. We'll go with uh, that one. And one right there. Okay, we got a storm coming in. Roof. And we're gonna need a wall, I think. I don't know if we have. Oh, we need pure ferrite. Okay, let's go ahead and plop this down. We'll get pure ferrite from um, mining up some ferrite, I guess. I think we need... How much do we need? Ten. It's perfect. Thank you. 
Great, so I'm currently in my ship trying to find a pretty big node of sodium because we're going to need a lot of it and sometimes they spawn in pretty big numbers so I'm trying to see if I can't find a big clump that we can just harvest a whole bunch of sodium from and I'm just trying to fly low enough where I can see the, them light up. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a bunch. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a whole bunch of them or not. We can even find a cluster around that's... Oh, look. Is that what I... No, that's one of those um things. The uh, sentinel thing in my dog thing my bobs like we don't want to attack that yet we're not that prepared I mean I'm seeing sodium just not a whole bunch of it yeah I'm not sure uh, we might have to find a small base or something like that that we can land on and then just harvest them up unless I can find some I'm not seeing much more on this planet than two nodes at a time so though I have seen some that are larger just like that one has three there's actually quite a few in this area we'll land here and uh, harvest those up I guess So we got some nitrogen here. Oh, there's two in this spot. Okay, and then there was some over on that side. I think, was it? Uh, right up there, I think. Okay, we got some wheat here. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we'll grab that one. There's some over there as well. Just trying to make it quick before another storm comes in. We got what we need. I just prefer to have extra in my inventory. Okay, and then there was... Uh, I did spot some down over behind us as well. Alright, so we made it to the space station. We um, actually have a really nice uh, looking space station on this one. We got this uh, huge bubble thing. I don't know what to call it. It's like a robot, I think. I don't know what it does, but uh, there's a panel up there that you can do something with it. I'm sure they'll expand that on the later end. Um, though I have explored this particular one on my personal save a little bit. Not this particular station, but um, pretty much the same layout, so I know where everything is. So. 
at least on the interior the exterior is always procedurally generated so it's kind of interesting i guess uh this allows you to um this is actually new they just added this um not too long ago but uh you can um maybe this is the salvage thing maybe it's this one right here so that's the salvage thing that we had on the other station then we can uh, fabricate a ship so basically if you find enough scrap components of certain ships you can basically go ahead and basically design your ship i've been asking for this like for a very long time so you have a whole bunch of different um components that you can get from scraps uh ships and stuff like that and then you can put them into uh basically this component and you can change pretty much all the aspects of it and then basically create an outcome by assembling it it's really cool i'm looking forward to actually using it and then we have our uh character modifier and the guy that was the, um i don't know what you call it the um scrap dealer he's over here i'm not sure we have to find somebody that um might know about something i don't know if who we need to go to actually it's been a lot harder now that the stations have been updated because i was so used to the old system so we'll have to figure out where we can find somebody to do that for us our portals there it's good for an hour or so we'll be able to get back home no problem let's ask this guy So I'm not of their own starting with code and code it back through right clear. Huh. Perhaps my base computer would make something of this code. Okay, so I think we found the guy that we needed. Um, while we're here, we might as well change some of our appearance and stuff. So let's go ahead and just check what we got for... Uh, okay, log. I just want to see what we need to do. So we haven't really done a quick uh, look at the entire system or space station. So basically we have all the merchants pretty much up on this section right along the part here. 
We got the tech guys, which uh, did the exo, and then the spaceship over on this side, and then we got exosuit and weapons over here. Uh, sometimes you can see procedurally generated things. This one's a server farm for this particular system, and sometimes you can come across like um, parts that you can collect stuff at. So, for example, this one we can get some credits from. Usually it's credits. Um, it's not usually too common for other things, but you, up here you can usually find a little bit more uh, things. And then downstairs we already looked at those things. You have the appearance modifier and stuff like that. Uh, over in that part we have the um, guild guy that you can get those rewards with. There's been a pretty big overhaul with him. We're not part of the guild yet, so we still need to do a bunch of missions and stuff, but you can get discounts and stuff from here, which is really cool. Something that was not a thing before that. And then downstairs, what we got is uh, the cartographer. Uh, that's the cartographer there. We got the portal and the trade terminal. And then we got the missions board. So we have all those things. And then we already covered those things for the um, scrapper, builder, and the, um, ac the customizer. And then we have the uh, guy back here for the... Um, scrap dealer so that's basically a system in a nutshell uh, all the landing pad is a lot more accessible now uh, for getting places it's a lot more comfortable for getting up onto higher locations and stuff I'm really happy with how much work they actually did change the game for the space stations it really needed an overhaul and just from what looking at the station and you know just the little parts and stuff that they could still expand to. It looks like they're also adding a lot more room for future updates as well. They could probably add more stores or something like that up on this part and maybe even on the lower level on some of these corner parts you might be able to fit something in. So yeah, definitely pretty cool change. Um, outside of that, next episode we'll continue the progress for the missions and uh, explore a little bit more outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out